plus stand. Get out your fish. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish a lot. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let him go again. Why did you let him go? Because he bit my finger so. Which finger did he bite? He bit the little one on the right. Give it a kiss. Nice job. Go ahead and sit down. I say one, you say two. One, two. one, two. I say seven, you say eight. seven, eight. seven. Eight. I say nine, you ten. say ten. nine, ten. nine. Ten. I say twelve, you say ten. twelve, ten. twelve. Ten. I say seventeen, you say seventeen, seventeen. I say 19, you say 19, 19, good, now that we're warmed up, let's do our numbers all the way to 100, but we're going to do it girls and boys, so girls stand, when I put my hand down, that means the boys will start counting, girls stand, begin, One, two, three, four, five. yourselves on the back. I am proud of you. Way to go. Let's work on our numbers together. Class stand. Here we go. Begin. I tricked some of you. Whoa, Joseph, you are fast today. Good job, sit down. You really are working hard today. I like that hard work. Tell me the number that comes after three, Carter. Four. Four. What comes before number 10, Oakley? Nine. Nine. What comes after number 12, Cyrus? Thirteen. Thirteen. What comes before number 11, Luke? Twelve. Not before 11. Ten. Ten. Good job. All right. Now let's see who could come and put some numbers in order. Now remember, I'm not going to give you one, two, and three, or four, five, and six. What I want you to do is put the lowest to the highest together. So let's see. Hmm. Who could do that? William, come. William, I'm going to give you three cards. Are you ready? Here we go. The lowest to the highest. The smallest to the largest. Ch 
check your numbers. Which one is the lowest number? Which one is the highest number? Okay, so that should be first. So put that where the 8 is and move the 8 to where the 6 is. All right, let's see. Let's see how he did. What's the first number? Seven. Is that the lowest number? Yeah. What's the next number? Eight. What's the last 15. number? Is 15 the highest number? Yeah. Yes, he did a good job. Tell him what way to go. What way to go? All right, let's see if I can pick another friend. Good job, helper. Let's see. Hmm. Come do this one, Kyla. Let's see how she does. You can just move the cards. You can move the little cards or whatever. All right, let's see what she got here. Tell me what number this is. Three, four, 14, 18. Which one is the highest number? 18. Which one is the lowest number? Three. Three. She did it right. Tell her what way to go. What way to go? Nice job. Way to go, Kyla. I like that hard work. Well, look what I have here. What do I have? Tree? A tree, which means we're going to learn a new what? A uh, what, Angelina? Combination. A new combination. Good job. Let's look right here. Let's see what I have. Start counting those in your brain. Hmm. Let's see who could make that combination right here for me. Let's see. Angelina, come. Let's see how she does it. All right, let's check her work. Come over here, Angelina. All right, let's see what she has here. Tell me the combination. Six plus one equals seven. How do you know that? Because you're just smart like that. Let's see if she's right. Count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. She did. Oh, somebody's not watching. Let's try again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. So we have six apples plus how many apples? One. Equals? Seven. Yes. Way to go. Good job. I like that hard work. Let's look right here. Go ahead. Let's look right here. Count these ladybugs. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many ladybugs are right here? One. So what's the answer? Seven. Let's do the combination. Are you ready? Six. Plus one equals seven. Good job. How about this one right here? Do you remember this combination? Let's see. Think in your brain. Come write the number for me right there if you think you know it. Smile at me. Hmm, let's find out. Carter. Let's see. Write the answer right here for me. What do you think? You think he's getting it? Show me. What is the answer? Five. Let's see. Count the bumblebees. One, two, three, four, plus one equals how many bumblebees? Five. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Double high fives. Love that hard work. Good job. How about right here? Ooh, there's some worms on our board. Count the worms in your brain. Go write that number for me, Bethany. You can just write it right here, wherever you can reach it, it's fine. Mm 
So did you not count them over there? How many worms are there? There are. Go ahead and write the number. Oh, no, there isn't seven. Mm -mm. I'm sorry, that was my mistake. How many do you think there is? Count these. One, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Plus Nine. equals how many? Six. There you go. Now we both got it, right? Pretty good. Let me show you how to write it. You're going to go skirt down and then make a cir half a circle there. That's how you make number six. How many are there? Six. Six. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. She did it. Nice job. All right. How about this one right here? Mmm. Look at that in your brain. Connor, come. Connor, come write the answer. How many butterflies? Three. Let's count. One, two, three. He did it. Good job. So let's say these combinations together. Six plus one equals seven. Good. Let's do this one. Four plus one equals five. Five plus one equals six. And this one? Two plus one equals three. You got it. Class, stand. Quietly turn your chair into the table. We are going to have fun today with our number cards. Boys and girls, watch and get out your number cards as well. I have my number cards. Go ahead and take out yours, put them, take them out of their baggie, stick them on your name tag. What goes first? Zero. Zero. What's next? One. One. What's next? Two. Two. What's next? Three. Three. What's next? Four. Four. What's next? Five. We put it under number? Zero. Yes, we do. Where does number six go? Under number? One. Where does number seven go? One. Under number two. Good job. What's next? Eight. Where does that go? Under number three. Good. And the last one? Number four. You got it. Good job. Way to go. We got our number cards ready. Let's see. Let's look at this table. Whoa. Table three. Pat yourselves on the back. You got it. You are so fast. I like it. Let's see. We're still working on it over here. Quickly, Luke and Lauren and Oakley, pat yourself on the back. You're right with Mrs. Stewart. I like that hard work. All right. Let's make some numbers. Are you ready? Hmm. Let's work on our T numbers here, or I mean our combination numbers. First, let's see. Hmm. Tell me that answer. Pull down your card, the right one. Hold it up for me. Let's see. What number do you have? Four. Four. Let's see. Let's count. One, two, three, four. Good job. Put it back. Go.
What's the answer? Six. six. Let's find out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, if you have number six, you're right. What does six look like? It has a? A ball at the bottom. Great job. It has a ball at the bottom. Good job. Hmm. Now, let's see how many apples I'm going to put in the tree. Are you ready? You can find me that number. How many apples? Nine! What does nine look like? A, a ball at the top. A ball at the top. Put it back. Go. How many apples? Zero. What does zero mean? Nothing. Nothing. Good job. Put it back. Make the number that comes after 14. Comes after number 14. Go. Think what comes after 14. If you can't figure it out, look at our chart. Find number 14 and see what number comes after number 14. If it's a T number, what number is going to come first? The one. The one. Good job. Connor, what number did you make? Fifteen. Fifteen. How do we make a fifteen? The oh. One and one. Oh, say it the right way. Oh. One and a five. A one and a five because the one always comes first. So when I say tell me the number, you always say one and then the number if it's a T number. Go ahead and put it back. Give me the number that comes after number 16. It comes after number 16. Think in your brain, 16 and then the next number. Kyla, what number is it? 17. 17. I like how Kyla uses her own brain. Good job. Put it back. How do we make a 17? A one and a seven. A one and a seven. Great job. Give me the number that comes before 11. It comes before number 11. I'm glad that Oakley and Kayla and Lauren all use their own brain that God gave them. They're really thinking. They don't look at anybody else's cards. They use their own brain. What number did you make me? Ten. How do you make a ten? Oh. One. A one and a zero. If we're talking about T numbers, you have to tell me the one first. So let's try that again. It, how, how do we make a number 10? Oh. A one and a zero. Good job. Put it back. Take number nine. Put it in your hand. Number eight. Mm, I didn't go past eight yet. Number seven. Number six. And number five, I like how table three is staying right with Mrs. Stewart and good job boys and girls watching. Number four, number three, number two, number one, and what is this number? Zero. Zero. Good job. Take your baggies out. Go ahead and put your number cards away. Boys and girls watching, if you have a baggie, put your cards in your baggie or rubber band them or however you have them kept when you're not playing with them. And I hope you had fun today learning our new combination, six plus one equals what? Seven. Seven. And having fun with our number cards as well.